Welcome, it's King Lizard on PlayStation 4 with Drive Club Racing Action. This is a Drive Club race challenge for the teams. So it's all about getting team standings here against the community. And I'm at the Kyle in Scotland, is the circuit that we're racing. It's a, a progress race, so a point A to B race. This Hennessy Venom GT I'm driving is absolutely mental. It is a complete beast of a car and this is my second run my first run I got into seventh place on the club leaderboard so when I say club leaderboard it's it's more a leaderboard for this particular event than an overall club leaderboard so it's not a worldwide club leaderboard it's just the the event leaderboard if you like so I got into seventh place I think it was with a 206 something or other so I'm aiming to better that time but it's really really brutal this race because these cars are just so low down and big ended if you get behind them you can't really see what's going on up front on the circuit and it is a really really challenging race oh way fast just stopped myself from hitting that crash barrier there caught some of the dirt and that computer car keeps moving over on me it's clipped me quite a few times that car and the one behind has as well I mean, I've clipped the old car too, so I'm no perfect. Um, I'm definitely going through there way too fast. Needs to slow that down a little bit. So I plan to do. This is my second run. Oh, he really stopped there. Didn't need to do that. And after this one, I'll do another run. See if I can improve on it. I'm sure I can, because I've made more than enough mistakes on this particular run. That's for sure. But this is brutal, brutal hard. This race in terms of actually getting a placing so getting first place and getting a good time is really really tough on this one but it is an absolute joy to drive this thing is just mental this car won't let me get past it just keeps moving over on me I'm going too fast oh can I get out in front I feel something down the side of the car there I have to check that replay and see what that was I think the car was alongside me, so I've got 205, not much of an improvement there. Um, not sure that will have changed my standings from 7th. Oh no, I got into 5th place. So I got into 5th place, so there's a little bit of an improvement in the standings. Not too many people on this one at the moment. So this is the replay, be interested to see what happened here. But this game, I'm so happy they put the replays into this Drive Club game, they're absolutely fantastic. But one thing it was really, really missing. It's a shame. I know, I know. Obviously, Forza Horizon 2 is an open world game, and open world games, obviously, it's much more difficult to create cameras in the game world and stuff. But it'd be so nice to have something like this, you know, decent replay in Forza Horizon 2. I mean, originally they did try to do replays differently on Forza Horizon. You know, they were just too close to the car. You couldn't really see much of what was going on around the car. Whereas in this race, you know, you get a good look. Of or in this replay mode in Drive Club, you get a really, really good look at what's going on in the race. But uh, it's quite difficult getting past these guys. You do tend to get boxed in and bounced around a lot. The AI are quite similar to a lot of other racing games AI, where they like to take the racing line and they move across you. So it's you know it's very easy kind of get tapped up and put off the track and stuff or into a barrier but not quite as bad as racing online, you'll be glad to hear. But absolutely beautiful dashes in this game, and this, you know, if you don't have Drive Club on PlayStation 4, why not? It's just a fantastic driving game. Obviously, if you don't like driving games, fair enough, but this, if you do like driving games and you've got a PS4, even if you play the Xbox One and it's your primary machine, like me, um, you know, play this game. You know, if you've got a PS4, it's a fantastic game. And there is even a free version. There has been for a while now. Obviously, it took a long time to come out, but it's there on PlayStation Network. And recently, they've just added bikes to Drive Club. Or, or I say recently, probably a couple of months ago. But I'm going to be jumping on and doing some bike stuff and getting that up on the channel soon because I've missed this game so much. I forgot what great fun it is as well. So that was the win. A little bit untidy there, definitely. So we need to do a little bit better. So this time around, I'm going to go external mode. So this is what we call in the profession chase view. So I've jumped into chase view here purely because I think I'm going to do a better time in this race. 
and the reason for that is one it's absolutely mental fast but there is a lot of traffic to get past at the beginning of this race and oh clip that wall and the last thing I really want to do is get tied up behind computer cars because that's going to mean I'm not going to improve on my time so I need to be able to see more of the track and more of things around me so that I can avoid them appropriately and improve on my time so let's see how I can do in this thing I'm clipping a few walls here still this thing is you know as I said absolutely crazy fast so it is a very difficult um, class of car to drive now the thing I love about drive club of the, um, the circuits and the circuits look absolutely phenomenal in this game and there are so many of them and also they vary so much this game by far has the best choice of racing circuits ever in any driving game in my opinion absolutely love it to bits for that you know Falls has got some great tracks but they're all realistic world tracks you know they are great tracks Nuremberg especially I love that to bits but I, I prefer kind of these what's the word less track orientated circuits so like this is a progress race A to B it's you know pretty much an open road with lots of technical sections and fast bits and these guys Evolution Studios do a fantastic job of creating racing circuits I think it's, you know, it's brilliant um, probably Forza comes in a close second place I used to love Grid Series, Grid 2 specifically had a really good choice of tracks and also you know tracks like the uh, California Highway and stuff and you know Project Cars was another one that I'd liked quite a lot of circuits for as well because they had a good variation of circuits especially things like California Highway and Asia Coast there so you know really really good choice of tracks in this game so I managed to get in on a 157 135 which bumped me up into fourth place so that was actually pretty close to the original time that was at the top so I was just marginally off by um, I think it was 0 0.029 of a second from that next placing in third place so I'm gonna leave it there I think I think that's a good enough time I'm not greedy I don't have to be at the top because I've got lots more to do in this game but I'm quite happy that I made a good eight second improvement there on that time on my second run but it was still pretty untidy so there's definitely a bit more work to do there and if this is in the main career of the game I'll probably have another run at it and uh, work on perfecting my performance shall we say but uh, absolutely love the replay mode in this you know really really great addition something that was missing greatly from the game something that I miss a lot in Forza Horizon 2 you know it's something that I think they could have done a really good job of although you know with open world environments it's a lot tougher to make camera setups and stuff so screaming in on first place here absolutely crazy speed and this is that very technical section a little bit of break there to get me through try to avoid getting any contact with the edges and stuff bit of grass cutting there that post flying up in the air in the distance absolutely crazy but uh, I'll take this opportunity to thank you guys and gals for watching I will be back with plenty more drive cup in the not too distant future plus plenty more gaming action I've got Rainbow Siege on the way and also some more Need for Speed along with a whole bunch of other titles WW I think it's F2K6 and so on we'll take care thanks for watching I'll be back again soon